What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Outdoors. Today I'm going to bring you a rod and reel arsenal uh, of the rods I used for the 2015 season for the spring, summer, and fall. Um, as you can see, i got seven combos here, uh, seven combos that I always have in the boat, always take with me everywhere. Um, I, wish, I, I have fall baits rigged up on right now, but uh, that's just because we just got done with uh, fall and now we're into the winter season, so ice is on the lakes and stuff. But uh, I just want to say, I don't spend that much on rods. I I buy affordable rods. Um, I don't drop 300 on a rod and 300 on a reel. Uh, that's just, I keep it on the affordable side. But uh, anyways, I'll just get right into it. Uh, my first rod here, I'm going to start off with the spinning reels, is a St. Croix Premier. 7 foot medium power, fast action. Um, and I got a GSX Termin on there with 15 pound Power Pro braid. And uh, basically I use these this for wacky rigs and uh, tubes and stuff, basically like power spin fishing, stuff like that. Um, my second spinning rod is going to be the St. Croix Mojo Bass uh, 6.9, medium light, extra fast tip. Uh, really nice rod, got a really good tip on it. Um, and then I got that paired up with the Abby Garcia Aura SX with a 15 pound Power Pro braid and then with a, I think that's a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Just use the double uni knot to tie that. It's one of the best knots. Oh, now I'll get into the baitcasters. Uh, first one is going to be a 7 foot medium heavy fast action mojo bass. Um, I got a swing jig on there right now. And then with a loose speed spool. Uh, this is my favorite reel. For 100 bucks, you really can't beat it. They work really good in the 6 8 to 1 gear ratio. Um, but yeah, I got 15 pound floral on that. And then for the second bait caster, um, I got a St. Croix Mojo Bass 7 foot heavy, uh, fast action, um, with uh, Abu Garcia Silver Max. Uh, basically, just using the Silver Max as a backup right now. But uh, I don't know, it works good for top water and stuff. Not the ideal gear, gear ratio, but it works for now. Then I just got that rigged up with an Evolve Frog and uh, 30, 40 pound Power Pro. Next, we got a seven foot medium heavy Mojo Bass. Uh, basically, got a speed spool on there. Uh, I have a jig on there right now. Um, I normally use this for square bills, but I just threw a jig on there because of the fall. Um, but yeah, I got a speed spool on there in the 6 4 to 1. Yeah, 6 4 to 1. Next, we got a 7 foot medium heavy Mojo Bass again um, with a speed spool. 5 4 to 1 gear ratio. This is my cranking rod. See, I got a Rapala DT10 on there right now in the bass color. But, uh, yeah, 15-pound floral on there and a really good crank and stick. Works good. You can use uh, you can use basically anything on there, 5XDs, 6XDs. Works super good. Lastly, we got a Mojo Bass 7-foot medium. Uh, this is my favorite rod because I use it the most. Um, actually, I'm actually going to have to pick up a new one because I've had this rod for a while and it's kind of starting to wear out a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's seven foot medium, fast action, uh, with the loose speed spawn there, seven one to one, or seven five to one. Sorry. Yeah, I just use this for Texas rigs, stuff like that. Uh, Texas rigs are super good in Minnesota in the uh, summer off the weed lines and stuff. So uh, yeah, I got that with fifteen pound floor as well. And uh, so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, first, I'd just like to show you what I use to like cover all my rods. Um, I use a Cabela's rod cover, looks like that. Uh, it's got a like PVC right there, so your uh, lures never like get caught on it or anything. And then it's a nylon right here. And then for reel covers, I just use the DAC Warehouse reel covers that you get when you buy a reel. Help protect it and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. As you can see, I use all St. Croix rods. Um, it's just personal preference. I mean, I've never had a problem with St. Croix rods, uh, and I really like them, and I like the Mojo Bass. It's affordable, and it's a good rod. I've never had a problem with any of them, any guides breaking or a broken rod or anything. 
Uh, but yeah, it's just personal preference overall. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to go to a different company. Um, I might try Dobbins, but we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my uh, part of the 2015 Rob Real Arsenal. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.